Well, hey there, folks. It's Chad Danny. It's Bronco Planet. And, uh, you know, just a couple of guys talking about football. And if you don't like what we have to say, then just uh, go rewind our intro three or four times like uh, Woo, I did. Man. Yeah, absolutely. Some nice looking gals there. Yep. Obviously, the yep, Bronco yep. cheerleaders, Teresa Shear, always does a great job yep. with the cheerleaders there. Not only are they good to look at, as you just saw, but, you know, supporting the team and they're always involved in the community. Covered some events with them earlier this year. And that was actually the tryouts at the beginning of the year. But uh, anyway, forget cheerleaders for a moment. I know it's hard to get that out of mm -hmm. your mind. Another Bronco victory, seven in a row, and AFC champions. Give That's me some. Right. Nine and three Denver Broncos. Uh, big win today. You know, let's just break it down. Uh, folks, you know, we, we take a little criticism here and there uh, about our wins. Granted, you know, some wins are, are ugly. Some and, and some people just say, hey, man, a win's a win. Uh, be happy with what you got. First half of this game, Chad. Yeah, not Pulling so good. Pulling my freaking hair out. Yeah, for sure. And those yep. that follow us on Facebook obviously saw our anger. And the reason is, I think to your point, is uh, what you're, I'm alluding to what your mm -hmm. point was, is I mean, we I want to win, and I want to start showing convincing wins. I want to see right. momentum for the playoffs. I mean, we have lost to the three playoff teams that we face this year. So, you know, granted, they were earlier in the season. They're right. good teams. But we need to start beating tough teams. And when you're down at halftime because you're playing lollygag, conservative, run Lance Ball on third and 15, that pisses right. me off. That doesn't mean I don't like John Fox. It doesn't mean I don't like the Denver Broncos. It means that I'm a fan. I want to see you execute. Right. I want to see Peyton freaking Manning throwing the football. I don't want to see Dink and Dunk. We did that last. We saw that we could handle more oh, than yeah. we can handle last year. So, you know, let's stick it to them, rub their face in the ground, and and go after yep. it. Yep, just like your dog crapping on the floor, you rub their nose in it, <laughs> and that's kind of that's that's kind of the killer instinct. We talked a little bit about it last week that the Broncos just lack. Uh, John Fox, I, I know you know there you you play the percentages, you play it safe, you play the small ball, and today was no exception. You know, they're late in the fourth quarter. Denver gets the ball back. They have a couple of timeouts. Your offense spent a total of less than. 20 seconds on the field before they get the ball back again, go down and score. All of a sudden, now it's a one-score game. It drives me crazy. I'm not saying throw a long, deep ball to, to Decker or, yep. to, or to Demarius Thomas. Get a couple of first downs. They've already burned their times out. Game is over. Instead of uh, you know, instead of this dink and dunk or just uh, yeah, no, drives me crazy. And, yeah. I, and that's the big difference. And, and we said it last week. I'm going to say it again this week, Shad. That's the difference between elite teams and the Denver Broncos. Love you. Love, Love what you're you. doing. We're getting there. Love 9 and 3. Coming a long way. Love a 31 23 we victory. We want more. Is that yeah. too bad? No, we want I, more. I, I don't think that's unreasonable. It's like yet. my kids at Christmas time. Oh, Daddy, yeah. more, more, more. <laughs> but uh, hey, you know what? We I feel good that we got a victory. We certainly, the second half was awesome. Right. Some great throws to Demarius Thomas. Jacob Tammy having a great game, nine receptions. Oh, hey, oh. yes. Uh, Quick courtesy clap for Mr. Mitch Henry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Never heard the man from Eaton, Colorado gets <laughs> a touchdown. I love that stuff. I love what a tackle. What are the odds in Vegas of yeah. him getting a touchdown? You know, a, nose, a nose tackle has more receptions than Joel Dreesen. Yeah, Chad was so crazy, he was already going to fantasy <laughs> trying to pick him up as a receiver. Yeah. So, it was <laughs> well, great. I'll do anything. Yep. So, uh, no, I think uh, things are great. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I think a lot of good things are happening. We've got to quit just hanging around the first half. Let's go stick it to them. Uh, and, and the reason is you get – Way ahead, and then what happens? All of a sudden, you force the offense to be in passing situations. Mm -hmm. Doug Martin, I think, has under like 70 yards, maybe under 60 yards, and all of a sudden, you're rushing. Everybody's coming in there. Doomerville, right. Vaughn, interceptions, touchdown. That's when the Broncos are really firing on all And they cylinders. did it from the very first get go uh, of the game. They drove right down, scored. They hit the gas, just like, you know, we've been harping about this for how long now? She had just weeks yep, and weeks, weeks and weeks. And anytime the, that the Denver defense can get a, uh, a quarterback on his heels, playing from behind, having to throw the ball. Good things happen. Did good things happen today? The good thing. Great Ask, things happen. Ask Von Miller. That's right. So I think uh, all in all, uh, really the only thing I'm worried about is, uh, you know, we're not going to be this to death anymore, but more more aggressive in that first half. And Matt Prater, come on, buddy. We are rolling in the playoffs. Three four, weeks in a row. Three, four, four weeks, something yeah. like that. He's come missing on. them left come and right. There, he, Matty. he may be the worst field goal kicker in the league over the last three weeks, and that's not Matt Prater-ish. No, that would be Mason Crosby. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so your second worst there. But our other uh, special Matty. teams uh, guy, uh, Britton Colquitt, I think mm -hmm. averaged about 44.8 right. yards per punt. couple inside the 10. So Britton always does a great job in Trending Denver. Trending Holiday once again. Yes. 
a, a quick. step away. I want to see him and Hellman line it up and race. I'm, mm, I'm wondering uh, who's quick. I don't know, but I'm just loving the fact that we've got all this uh, potency now on special teams. Defense obviously looked very, very good, and uh, the Von Doom show, especially Von. My gosh, the, the guy is just force fumbling. Uh, solo tackling uh, and the the pressures is, is something that you just can't uh, you know yeah yeah for put, sure you're, put any kind of a, a mark on or even uh, holding penalties from the offensive lineman it might as well be a sack yeah and you you go back and you look at the newspaper you say hey, it's a pretty good game from Vaughn he had a touchdown no right. it was be way beyond uh, a great game from him yep. involved in there in your face holding them back all the time Doomerville once again no sacks today but was in there a lot right. and Derek Wolf playing good ball. Jack Del Rio, not only does his son win the 5A mm -hmm. championship oh, with, Eddie, Eddie, yes, there for and with sure. Eddie McCaffrey, uh, his kid, uh, right, scores right. the winning touchdown. Uh, you know, Jack Del Rio has done great things. You know, I look at Dennis Allen over there with the Raiders, and I'm thinking, man, I am so glad you left. Because Jack Del Rio is a mm -hmm. perfect guy for the job, and he loves Denver. And I know he's going to get calls. To maybe be a head coach, but sometimes you got to find your wheelhouse, and I think that's really where he's really good at. Look right. at guys like Josh McDaniels. Look at old goofball Haley in Kansas City. Right. Sometimes coaches, it's okay to be an assistant, lead in the NFL. Phillips, and, yeah, yeah, example. absolutely. Stay there, Jack. Please stay. You know, talking about uh, Dennis Allen, uh, the one thing that I never really like, you know, I love the fact that we can watch football on Thursday nights. What I don't like it's when it's Denver's turn, <laughs> yeah, and they're coming <laughs> off a short week. Uh, they have to travel up to the black hole to play in that black hole yeah. uh, for the second go-around with the Raiders. First go-around, that was an ass-whooping. I mean, there ain't yeah. no better way to, to, to describe it other than that, Shad. Now we're going into the into the uh, the confines of Oakland. What do you see? There'll be more whooping. Yep. That's what's going to happen there. And, and I, I think the Broncos need one day rest to play that Raider team. And the blessing in disguise there is they, you know, then it gives them a little extra time, mm -hmm. 10 days to pay, you know, to prepare for the Ravens right. who lose today. And so now... Ooh, very interesting. I've been so now, frustrated. Huh? We've been talking. Oh, yeah, Houston yeah. every week almost loses. There are right. times when it looks like New England may lose. The Ravens have been on the wire. Finally, the Pittsburgh Steelers stick it to them. Man, every if every home field advantage you can get is so critical in the playoffs. Absolutely. So, you know, that's whole, if we can just win next week, uh, well, the next two weeks, then Good things. Doing the moonwalk. Yep, absolutely. Good things will happen. Since it's a short week, we're going to go ahead and get all this stuff out to you. Uh, you can look for us Thursday night, post-victory, uh, post yep. as it were. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter. Of course, you can always hit us up over there on our YouTube channel. we got a very nice, uh, nicely designed little site over there for you guys to enjoy. Go Broncos.